So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here today, a practical application of microscopy. My son recently came to me and asked me, is this jam still edible or is it already bad? Is it spoiled? Because he saw a tiny white speck of something um, inside the jam. I just want to show you where it is. Um, and uh, he was kind of worried that this uh, white little thing that you see over here, that this is some kind of a mold. And I said, well, actually, this does not look like a mold because mold is actually fuzzy and and this looks uh, quite shiny, um, so probably not a mold, but I was already kind of worried. Well, what happens if it is some kind of a bacterial colony? Because bacterial colonies, they look um, kind of uh, smooth and shiny, at least many of them. Uh, it didn't uh, quite look very round like a colony, but you never know. Maybe it kind of got spread apart a little bit and smeared apart. Um, but I actually told him, well, actually, you know what? We were just going to look under the microscope and we're going to find out what it actually is. Yeah, and this is uh, what I've, uh, I've done. Um, I I uh, used a little um, yeah, wooden bamboo stick uh, and I simply tried to extract uh, this uh, white uh, you know, white um, thing in there and um, to my surprise um, it uh, kind of could be removed quite easily. Well, it stuck uh, quite well to the bamboo stick so this was already a first sign that we're probably not dealing with a fungus here or mold here because fungi and molds they have those uh, long uh, cells, filament uh, shaped cells, the hyphae um, and they kind of grow in into um, into the jam and they look very fuzzy and this really didn't have the right appearance. So in any case, I put it on the microscope slide, I spread it um, uh, around and yeah, indeed, I thought this kind of does behave now a little bit like a bacterial colony. Um, but I, at the same time, all I said is I have to add some water here because this would be too, too concentrated. I wouldn't be able to see any bacteria, any individual bacteria. And when I added the water, I said, no, this does not behave like a bacterial colony anymore because it didn't properly mix. Okay, um, it did not properly mix, and when I added the cover glass and when I put it under the microscope, it actually was confirmed um, that um, yeah, what we've got here is this uh, this here the, all of this white stuff here on the left and the right side that is water, and this is whatever it we isolated now from the jam. Yeah, it looks uh, like there are tiny little dots in here. I was saying, well, maybe could these be actually bacteria in here? Um, it, the magnification was not really high enough for me to say, um, but um, the fact that it didn't properly mix already was some kind of a sign. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, um, whether this is, these are actually bacteria. So, um, but still a, a little bit uh, too early to decide. So I had a, a closer look at this and then came to the conclusion that, well, we have to definitely go up with the magnification. This is a four times magnifying objective. So individual bacterial cells would not be visible anyway. Here at 10 times, I already started to see some cells. And I don't know if you were able to catch them. Um, as a matter of fact, if we go back a little bit here, um, I just want to show you here again. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, those here, um, these here are, are actually cells here. Those, they look transparent, but these are cells of the jam itself. We're talking about here an apple and a raspberry jam. Um, and so it's a fruit jam, and uh, these are the cells of the fruit here, right? So just as a size reference, and uh, those tiny dots are way smaller. Yeah, bacteria would be a little bit, would be, um, yeah, in a similar size here but um, I could not see it quite well, right? But yeah, indeed, these here are indeed, uh, are, are indeed um, cells uh, from the jam, uh, but over here we still are not able to see anything um, um, that would make me think that these are bacteria, but we have to we have to go up a little bit with the magnification here, right? Um, all of those uh, fibers that you see over here, these are just uh, contaminants, um, you just ignore those, yeah? This here as well, this, yeah? Um, it's just a contaminant, uh, which uh, is uh, because I cleaned my microscope slide with, a, with, with uh, it's some tissue paper, so these are probably some fibers uh, from the tissue paper. And yet here at a higher magnification, we can now see those individual dots much better. Um, but um, uh, look, they have a different size. Um, and over here in the water area, um, you could actually see that there's a very clear uh, separation. Normally, if these are bacteria, they would actually start to dissolve in the water and they would kind of float away. But we don't see that here. Yeah? And here, yet at a higher magnification, we are starting to see that indeed those little dots are indeed circles of, of various sizes here. And maybe some of you can already guess or have already guessed what these circles are. Of course, I'm going to tell you in a, in a minute or so, but I just want to keep the tension up a little bit so and let you guess a little bit of what it could be. Um, but this is already very clear that we're not looking at a living sample here. Huh? Um, here, just this here is, is some kind of a water, which is kind of um, starting to flow due to capillary action. Again, this yellow 
long thing here that is uh, the fiber from before. We just ignore that. Huh? But again, in here, I'm not seeing, I don't see any bacteria in here. So what I decided to do now is, is to make, be really sure we, we have to uh, switch over to phase contrast microscopy. Because if bacteria are indeed present, then they are visible as, as dark structures in, in phase contrast. And this is something that I've done. And um, essentially what we have over here again is uh, the original sample. And in here, this is the water part. And I'm not seeing so many dark structures. The dots that I see here are actually white. Yeah, so a clear indicator that we're not looking at cells here. Okay, so um, again, this kind of confirmed a little bit. And um, what I would like to do now is I would like to kind of uh, you lift uh, the mystery a little bit and tell you what we're looking at here. You know, because the contaminant uh, inside the jam was indeed um, not a fungus, it was not a bacterial colony, but rather it was, yes, uh, some butter. Okay, um, what we've done is, is uh, we've uh, uh, used a knife uh, to spread the butter over um, some bread and then we used the contaminated knife uh, and we went with that knife directly into the jam again and this is how we got some butter transferred into the jam so not a fungus not bacteria but a little bit of, of butter so what do we learn from this uh, we learned from this that uh, do not use a dirty uh, yeah knives and spoons to actually um, go into um, into your jam but use always clean utensils uh, just to make sure that there is not uh, there no bacteria going in there and you want to throw away those old vegetables as well <laughs> okay yeah so this basically means uh, we can still use this jam and uh, this basically showed you also a little bit how we can use a microscopy uh, to check uh, the quality of food um, and uh, if you like these type of videos I would like to of course invite you to subscribe to the channel there is of course plenty more microscopy uh, material coming up in this channel over here I wish you all the best happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time bye bye